Hi guys, class 10 students, I'm here for you today. You're done with uh, term one. Now we have to concentrate on term two. So in term two, we will be discussing quite a lot of chapters, but uh, before discussing those chapters and before starting those chapters, I would like to say all the best to you for your result, which will be coming out pretty soon for your term one. So today what we are going to do, we are going to do exercise 4.3 that is quadratic equation that is the syllabus of your term 2 and it is one of the important chapters so please make sure you watch the first two exercises as well I have made the video for those uh, exercises already so you can go through the list the playlist you will get the uh, videos and now today we will start exercise 4.3 quite an important exercise so please do watch this video till the end and please do subscribe to the channel as well. So let's get started. Right guys, so my name is Kong in case if you are new here, my name is Kong and uh, I do I have made a lot of videos. This is not a, a that old channel, but uh, we are trying our best to make it best. So please do subscribe to our channel and uh, make us big. Right, so let's get started. So exercise 4.3. And in this particular exercise, what we are going to learn, we are going to learn completing the scare method. This chapter is based on quadratic equation. Just a small recap, if you remember the basic quadratic equation what does it look like it looks like this ax square plus bx plus c is equal to zero so this is our basic quadratic equation and then we have something known as d that is b square minus 4ac d is discriminant And then in B is this thing, minus 4 A is this thing, and C is this. And in case if we have to find the value of X, so we have a formula minus B plus minus under root D upon 2 A, which we are done actually. And we will be using this formula in uh, you know uh, the coming exercises as well. But today our topic is a bit different. We are talking about completing the square method. I will uh, do a few questions on that. You will come to know what exactly I'm talking about. So completing the square method, in this method, we will follow three steps and those three steps will be followed in all the questions wherever we have to use this completing the square method. So uh, let me take one question. It is question one part first. It says 2x square minus 7x plus 3 is equal to 0. It is the quadratic equation which I was talking about just a minute before. It is in the form of ax square plus bx plus c is equal to 0. And now what are we going to do? We are going to solve this. We are going to find the you know, answer for this particular x using completing the square method. So that's what I'm writing here. I'll say using completing the square method so in completing the square method the first thing what we will do is this thing the constant we'll take it to the other side so it is 2x square minus 7x is equal to plus 3 if we if it goes that side it becomes minus 3 this is the first step very simple now what are we going to do we are going to take this two off this two doesn't mean just the two whatever is with x square you need to take that off so what i'm going to do i'll say dividing both sides by two so what happens 2x square minus 7x divided by 2 minus 3 divided by 2 simple guys now i'll say 2x square upon 2 minus 7x upon 2 because this 2 is with this as well as this and this thing remains the same here i can take this into this 2 off so what is left i have x square minus 7 by 2x is equal to minus 3 upon 2. so what i did 
first thing take the constant take it to the other side and then divide the remaining term with whatever you have with x squared so here we had two so i divided with two in case if there was three or four or any number we could have divided it with that number and then we bifurcated it and then we just cancelled the two now we are done with two steps what about the third step in third step you need to remember one thing whatever is with x so here with x we have 7 upon 2 so what we are going to do in every question we will multiply whatever is with x with 1 upon 2 it will always be the same so you need to multiply whatever is with x with 1 upon 2 so what does it become it becomes 7 multiplied by 1 7 2 multiplied by 2 is 4 so that's what i will do i just multiplied it with 1 upon 2 I got 7 upon 4 now I will say adding 7 upon 4 this is what I'm talking about 7 upon 4 whole square to both sides now what happens x square minus 7 upon 2x plus 7 upon 4 whole square and now minus 3 upon 2 plus 7 upon 4 whole square clear guys so now just a small thing this is not included in your uh, you know uh, question i'm just explaining it to you look at this if i say a minus b whole square if i just take this and see what it becomes it becomes x square a square plus b square minus 2 a is x and b is 7 upon 4 so if i cancel this and this what do i have i have x square plus 7 upon 4 whole square minus this is 7 upon 2 x if you see this and this x square x square minus 7 upon 2 x we have minus 7 upon 2 x and then 7 upon 4 whole square we have the same thing as well so i'll just rub this off because we don't need this I'm writing just this thing and in this I got to know that if I expand this term I will get this so that's the reason I'm writing this I hope you understood this and now this thing minus 3 upon 2 7 square becomes 49 and 4 square if we multiply 4 with 4 it becomes 16 so this thing will be as it is now, if I take the LCM of 2 and 16, I should get 16. So there is what I'm writing here. So 2 multiplied by 8 is 16. 8 multiplied by 3 is 24. But we have a negative sign, so negative will be there. Denominator and LCM is same. So whatever is in the numerator will write the same thing there. Now, x minus 7 upon 4 square. 49 minus 24 becomes 25 upon 16 right now x minus 7 upon 4 this square goes the other side it becomes plus minus under root 25 upon 16 right i can write one more step here 7 upon 4 is equal to plus minus under root 5 upon 4 whole square why because 5 multiplied by 5 is 25 4 multiplied by 4 is 16 so i'll cut this and this what do i have i have 5 upon 4 so in case if you want to make a note of it because uh, there is some more there are a few more steps that we need to finish it off so you can make a note of this and then i'll just move forward simple things you need to remember three steps first thing take the constant second thing divide it with whatever you have with x square and then third step whatever is with uh, x you need to multiply it with one upon two and then adding whatever comes well after multiplying so one upon two you have to uh, do the square of that and add that right so i'm just taking this off so that we can move forward now what do i have i have i'll just write this thing it is x minus 7 upon 4 is equal to plus minus under root we have under root is done we have cancelled it so i'll write 5 upon 4. now it's x minus 7 upon 4 is equal to 5 upon 4 and then 
x minus 7 upon 4 is equal to minus 5 upon 4. If we solve this, it becomes 5 upon 4 minus goes that side becomes plus 7 upon 4. We have 4 here, 5 plus 7, 5 plus 7, 12 upon 4, 3. So we have x equal to 3 here. And then here also we do the same, minus 5 upon 4. This minus 7 upon 4 goes that side. It becomes plus 7 upon 4. Then we have LCM here. It's minus 5 plus 7. That becomes 2 upon 4. And then we have 1 upon 2. All right, guys? So we have the values here. It says 3 and 1 upon 2. Let me check if we have the same answers here. So that is 2 upon 4, 3 and 1 upon 2. Yes, absolutely. That's the answer. So I hope this is clear, guys. This is the first part. Please make a note of this. I will move to the other one. Now we have the same set of questions. We will be doing the questions on the same pattern. So I hope this is clear to you. We will do one more and let's see if there is any doubt if you have any doubts you can clarify it then and there all right guys so now that we are done with question number uh, one first part let's move to second part and the second part we will do the same procedure you will get more idea about uh, this particular formula or this particular procedure so now the second part here what does it say it says 2x square then we have plus x minus 4 is equal to 0. We are using the same formula or the same procedure. So using completing the square method. So what are we supposed to do? First thing is first we need to take the constant to the other side. So this is minus 4. Obviously it will go to that side it becomes plus 4. Is that clear? Now what are we going to do? Dividing both sides by 2. Why? Because with x square we have 2. So it is 2x square plus x divided by 2 and then 4 divided by 2. Let's cancel it here itself. Now we have 2x square upon 2 plus x upon 2 is equal to 2. 2 and 2 gone. Now what do we have? We have x square plus 1 upon 2x is equal to 2. Now what are we supposed to do? You remember we need to multiply whatever is with x we need to multiply that with 1 upon 2. So 1 upon 2 into 1 upon 2 is 1 upon 4. So that's what we will do adding 1 upon 4 whole square to both sides. Okay now let me move to this side now, if I add 1 upon 4 whole square to both sides, so what does it become? It becomes x square plus 1 upon 2x plus 1 upon 4 whole square. Now, the other side we have 2 and then we need to add 1 upon 4 to this as well. Here, it is x plus 1 upon 4 whole square. You remember I told you in the first part, if we elaborate it, if we expand it, we'll get this thing. So this is what it is. And then it is 2 plus 1 upon 16. This thing remains same. x plus 1 upon 4 whole square is equal to. Let's take the LCM. We have 16. 16 multiplied by 2 is 32 plus 16, 16 same. So that is 1. So x plus 1 upon 4 whole square is equal to 33 upon 16. Now what are we supposed to do next? We will take the square to the other side which becomes under root 33 upon 16 and then we have 1 upon x plus 1 upon 4 here we can write under root 33 upon under root 4 square why 4 multiplied by 4 we have 16 so i can cancel this now what is left we have 1 upon x plus 1 upon 4 is equal to plus minus under root 33 upon 4. Right guys so now we are about to find the values of x so what I'm going to do I'll just rub this part I hope you're making note of it 
Now, after rubbing this part, what am I supposed to do? I am supposed to take x plus 1 upon 4 equals to first thing is under root 33 upon 4, that is in positive, and then x plus 1 upon 4 is negative under root 33 upon 4. Why? Because there we have signs here, positive and negative. Okay, so let's solve this. This is x is equal to under root 33 upon 4 plus 1 upon 4 goes that side as minus 1 upon 4. LCM 4, that is under root 33 minus 1. And here, I'll keep x here. It is my under root 33 upon 4, then negative sine 1 upon 4. x is equal to, let's take the LCM, it's minus under root 33 minus this this is the same so one so now we have this and this both the values are there for x i hope this is clear guys so uh you can take one thing here you can do one thing here you can take minus common but that's not necessary you can keep it this way as well so i hope this is clear so let's move to the other part we have part number three here let's i'll rub this off so let's move to part number three quickly. I hope you're able to understand this guys. And uh, obviously this is one of the important questions for your exam as well. So just practice these, you know, questions. Now the third part, it says four X squared plus four under root three X plus three is equal to zero. You can start doing it by yourself as well and then call, check here. So first thing, 4x square plus 4 root 3x is equal to minus 3. Positive 3 goes that side, becomes negative. Then we have a 4 here. So for a change, in first two questions we had 2. Now there is 4. So what are we going to do? Dividing both sides by 4. Why? Because we have a 4 here. Under root 3x whole divided by 4 minus 3 upon 4. Now 4x square upon 4. 4 upon 4 under root 3x minus 3 upon 4. This 4, this 4 goes and this as well. Now what is left here? x square plus under root 3x minus 3 upon 4. <coughs> Now, we have under root 3 with x, so multiply it with 1 upon 2, so we have under root 3 upon 2. So adding under root 3 upon 2 whole square to both sides. What does this become? It becomes x square plus under root 3 x plus under root 3 upon 2 whole square is equal to minus 3 upon 4 plus under root 3 upon 2 whole square right now this thing becomes a plus b whole square so we have a is x and b is under root 3 upon 2 whole square now what happens here it is minus 3 upon 4 plus I'll write under root 3 square upon 2 square. So here this and this goes x plus under root 3 upon 2 whole square minus 3 upon 4 plus 3. We have 2 multiplied by 2 becomes 4. So if you notice here it is negative, this is positive, gone. Under root 3 upon 2 square is equal to 0. Now, x plus under root 3 upon 2 is equal to this square goes that side. So, anyways, there is a 0, so it will not make much of a difference. So, what we have, under root 3 upon 2 is equal to 0. And again, we have the same thing because this 0, it can't be either positive or negative. So, x is equal to minus under root 3 upon 2. Here also x is equal to minus under root 3 upon 2. So these are the answers, guys, right? So I hope this is clear as well. We have another part and I will do that part as well. So let's move to the other part.
Now, the fourth part here, it says 2x square plus x plus 4 is equal to 0. We'll do the same pattern using completing the square method. So 2x square plus x is equal to minus 4. Now dividing both sides by 2. Why? Because we have a 2 here. So 2x square plus x upon 2 minus 4 upon 2. 2. So here we have 2x square upon 2 plus x upon 2 is equal to minus 2. This 2 and 2 goes x square plus 1 upon 2x is equal to minus 2. Now 1 upon 2 is with x. So multiply 1 upon 2 it becomes 1 upon 4. So adding 1 upon 4 whole square to both sides. After adding what happens it is x square plus 1 upon 2x plus 1 upon 4 whole square and then the other side is minus 2 plus 1 upon 4 whole square. This is x plus 1 upon 4 whole square minus 2 plus 1 upon 16 x plus 1 upon 4 whole square let's take the lcm here 16 multiplied by 2 is 32 but there's a negative sign and then it is 1 so now what do we have we have x plus 1 upon 4 is minus 31 upon 16 x plus 1 upon 4 is equal to under root minus 31 upon 16 plus and minus so here if you see we have negative under root 31 upon 16 so till 10th whenever you have under root minus 31 upon 16 you will not proceed but in 12, 11th standard yes there is an option to do that but here we will stop here itself so in case we can say uh, here negative value therefore we will not proceed further correct guys so this is that you need to keep in mind whenever you have something in under root and that is a negative you will not proceed further so i hope this is clear with you and now let's move to next question all right guys so the next question is again an important one it says find the roots of the quadratic equation given in question one so we have uh, the questions already given there in question one about by applying the quadratic formula you remember in the beginning of this particular uh, 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 video i gave you two examples so we will use those examples we'll use it right now which of the about two methods do you prefer and why so we will see that later so the first part is 2x square minus 7x plus 3. 2x square minus 7x plus 3 is equal to 0. So first thing what we need to do is we are not using the completing the square method. So we are going with the traditional way. So first thing we need to find is D. So for D we need A, B and C because D is equal to, I'll write it here, D is equal to B square minus 4AC. And I told you D is discriminant. So here let's see what is A. A is 2, B is minus 7 and C is 3. So let's put all these values and see what we get. So b square, that means minus 7 square. Then we have a negative sign and then 4, a is 2 and c is 3. d becomes, it is 49 minus 2, 4 is 8, 8, 3 is a 24. So d is 25. Clear guys? Now. What are we supposed to get? We are supposed to get the value of x. So x is minus b plus minus under root d upon 2a. Okay. 
So now x is equal to minus what b is, b is minus 7 plus minus under root d is 25 upon 2, a is 2. Let's do the calculation. It's negative, negative becomes positive. So we have 7. This is minus b and then plus minus under root 25. I can write 5 square. And then 2 into 2 is 4. x is equal to 7 plus minus this and this goes 5 upon 4. 7 plus 5 upon 4. And then 7 minus 5 upon 4. So what do we have? It is 12 upon 4 and 2 upon 4. 3. So what do we have? 3 and 1 upon 2. Clear guys? Very easy. Okay, now let's move to other part. Now what is the other part? It says So the second part here, what does it say? It says 2x square plus x minus 4. 2x square plus x minus 4 is equal to 0. We will do the same thing. D is equal to b square minus 4ac. And then what is a is 2, b is 1, and c is minus 4. a, 2, b, 1, and c minus 4. D b square that is 1 square minus 4 a is 2 and c is minus 4 1 multiplied by 1 remains 1 minus minus that is plus 4 2 is 8 8 into 4 8 for 32 so d is 33 now x minus b plus minus under root d upon 2 a x is equal to minus b b is 1 plus minus under root d is 33 upon 2 a is 2 now x is equal to minus 1 plus minus under root 33 we can't break it so let's leave it as it is and 2 multiplied by 2 is 4 x minus 1 plus under root 33 upon 4 and minus 1 minus under root 33 upon 4. If you remember guys, we're doing the same parts what we did in first, uh, you know, question using completing the square method. And there also we got the same answers. So the pattern may change, but your answers, the value of x will not change. So let's quickly move to part number three. Uh, I hope this is clear to you. Very simple. So the part number three here it says 4x square plus 4 root 3x plus 3 is equal to 0. So d b square minus 4ac. Let's take the values here. It says a is equal to 4, b is equal to 4 under root 3, and c is equal to 3. So d becomes b square, that is 4 under root 3 square minus 4 a is 4 c is 3 here this is 4 squared they will keep it that way and then under root 3 square 4 4 16 to 48 this and this gone d is equal to 4 multiplied by 4 16 into 3 minus 48 d is equal to 48 48 both the same one is positive one is negative so d becomes zero now what are we supposed to find we are supposed to find the value of x so x is minus b plus minus under root d upon 2a minus then b is 4 under root 3 plus minus under root d is 0 2a is 4 minus 4 under root 3 plus 0 upon 8 and then minus 4 under root 3 minus 0 upon 8 so will 0 make any difference no it will not so we will have 
the same values but what th one thing we can do we can cancel this so x is equal to minus under root 3 upon 2 and minus under root 3 upon 2 is the answer right guys so this finishes another part now we are moving to part number four and the part number four says let me rub this off Okay guys, so part number four here, it says 2x square plus x plus four is equal to zero. 2x square plus x plus four is equal to zero. If you remember guys, we got a negative there in the same part what we did using completing the square method. Let's see if we get the same thing here as well. So d is equal to b square minus four ac. So a is two, b is one, and c is four. 4 d b square that is 1 square minus 4 a is 2 and c is 4 d 1 multiply 1 will be 1 4 to 8 32 d minus 31 so can you see guys here we have got d as negative so we will not proceed further so we can say no solution or no value as d is negative okay guys so remember whatever be the procedure whatever be the pattern you can't go further in 10th standard when d is negative right guys so this finishes another question that is question number two now let's move to question number three and a very very important question we will see what we can do in that question and what does it say it says find the roots of the following equations so question number three simply says find the roots of the following equation and the equation here is quite a tricky one it is given in this way it says x minus 1 upon x is equal to 3 so here we are not uh, given the quadratic we have to make it quadratic so what we are going to do let us take the uh, take the lcm so we have an x here so x multiplied by x is x square same thing so this becomes one and then we have three here now what do we do x square minus one this x goes that side it becomes three x now it is x square minus one minus three x is equal to zero i took all the things here now x square minus 3x minus 1 is equal to 0 now i have the quadratic equation now first of all i will use the d thing d is b square minus 4ac here we have a equal to 1 b equal to minus 3 and c equals to minus 1 so let's put all the values so b is minus 3 then minus 4 a is 1 and c is minus 1 3 multiplied by 3 becomes 9 then minus minus plus 4 it is 4 only so d is equal to 13 so we have the value of d and that too it is a positive value so that means we can go ahead so let's find the value of x that is minus b plus minus under root d upon 2a so x minus b what is b here we have minus 3 so let's take here and then d is under root 13 upon 2 and do we have the value of a yes we do and that is 1 so x negative negative positive so 3 plus minus under root 13 upon 2 x is 3 plus under root 13 upon 2 or 3 minus under root 13 upon 2 so that's the value 3 plus under root 13 upon 2 and 3 minus under root 13 upon 2. So that finishes the first part. Let's move to part number 2. I hope this is clear. Very simple. Use the trigonoma. Um, I mean use the quadratic formula. The, uh, the D formula. The discriminant formula. And then get the value of X. Now let's move to part number 2. And what does it say? Again it is. We have to 
make it quadratic so this x plus 4 minus 1 upon x minus 7 is equal to 11 upon 30 okay let's take the lcm so we have x plus 4 and x minus 7 this x plus 4 and this x plus 4 is same so this multiplied by this is x minus 7 then this negative sign and then put a bracket here because we have a negative outside so this x minus 7 and x minus 7 goes and then we have x plus 4 okay is equal to 11 upon 30 why it is same because we have one here so now it is x minus 7 minus x minus plus minus 4 x multiplied by x minus 7 and then plus 4 multiplied by x minus 7 is equal to 11 upon 30 so here this is positive x and negative x gone now we have 7 and 4 becomes 11 that is negative 11 then x square minus 7x plus 4x minus 28 is equal to 11 upon 30 now one more thing we can do with this minus 11 upon x square minus 7 minus 7 plus 4 becomes minus 3x minus 28 is equal to 11 upon 30 now let us cross multiply so we have 11 and then this thing x square minus 3x minus 28 is equal to this multiply by this that is minus 11 into 30 now what i'm going to do i'm going to take this 11 here 3x minus 28 is equal to minus 11 into 30 upon 11 so let's take this off now we have x square minus 3x minus 28 is equal to minus 30 x square minus 3x minus 28 and this becomes positive 30 is equal to 0 x square minus 3x plus 2 is equal to 0 now we had the question in this way and we got the quadratic equation now we can use the formula so let's take d that is b square minus 4ac what is a here is 1 b is minus 3 and c is equal to 2 so d b square that is minus 3 minus 4 a is 1 and c is 2 so d is 9 4 to 8 so d is equal to 1 okay so we have got the value of d now obviously we need to find the value of x so for that i need some space so i'm rubbing this one off i hope you have made a note of it so i'm rubbing this off so let me move to this side and see what x is so x is minus b plus minus under root d upon 2a so x is minus then b we have b as negative 3 plus minus under root d is 1 upon 2 a is 1 x is minus multiply minus is 3 plus minus under root 1 will be 1 so 2 multiplied by 1 is 2 x is 3 plus 1 upon 2 and 3 minus 1 upon 2 so x is either 4 upon 2 or 2 upon 2 so this is 1 this is 2 x the values of x is 2 and 1 let me see the values of x well absolutely these are the values of x so you have got the value of x that is 2 and 1 and with that it finishes question number 3 as well so i don't want to make this video long so i will finish the video here itself and uh, i hope you will like the video and you will watch the video till the end please do subscribe to our channel please do uh, you know watch the videos and the previous videos as well i hope you will like our video